So yeah, let's do it. Mild flashing lights during some sequences may trigger, okay. And so it comes to pass. Okay. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. I wasn't Brave expecting this. Soul, <clears throat> one day you will stand before two baboons. One day you will rent the very fabric that binds this land. A squid or a kid? Neither. But until that day comes, you must toot. Thank you for the resub. Toot your trombone, brave soul. And you may yet become the trombone champ. Okay, this is fucking amazing already. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect, and this is already amazing. Choose play to play the main game. Alright, let's do it. You're a tromboner. Oh man, Trixie Bell, fuck yeah. Don't forget to tighten up, my guy. What's up, Extendo? Oh man, look how much spunk this has. It has so much spunk in dudes. Not a whole lot of tears. A little bit of fury, though. Move the mouse forward and back to move the slide. Okay. Press the left mouse button or any letter key to toot. Using the keyboard may be easier on your wrist. Okay. If you play well, you build combos and increase your champ meter. This is how you get big points. Watch the breath meter. If you hold a note for too long, you'll run out of breath. Most of all, have fun. I will try. Oh my god, it's inverted. Hold on. Why the fuck is this inverted? Or is that like a thing I can't change? Do I have options in this game? Settings. Allegiance, baboon quantity, uh, most, baboon preference. What do you think? You guys like mandrills or how much dry is? Let's just do all of them. Funny jump scare. Oh, good. Three hundred and twenty six toots. Fuck yeah. Oh, 
There's some actual songs in here. <laughs> Weird. Okay. <laughs> There's like actual songs in here. <clears throat> better than Guitar Hero? Oh, without a doubt. Way better than Guitar Hero. <laughs> coming at the screen have actually been fucking with me like that whole time. <laughs> it was actually getting to me. Jewish man in the Simpsons controller. Oh my god. I forgot his name. God damn it. You fucked me up now. <laughs> Are you Jasper? That's a Jasper song.
Fucking Christ, man. Crap mix. Yeah. High Fury. Scobbard? Hey, oh, Canada. We gotta work our way up there. I didn't realize you could actually change the scroll speed here, too. <clears throat> I guess that makes sense. It's kind of like a difficulty slider. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's better if I go down here. <clears throat> Doing load mint. Oh, yeah. Come on. Thank 
Fun fact, that song always scared the shit out of me as a kid. <clears throat> these tracks are pretty good. Honestly, like these remixes are actually pretty good. Oh god. Baboon step. I just realized this has when they released on here as well. 2021, huh? This has a VR mod. Fuck that, dude. It'll make me throw up. <laughs> My eyes are definitely not uh, what they used to be. <clears throat> Long tail limbo. What's the most recent thing on here? It's probably that 20. Oh, God. We're going to have to play this after David leaves. Otherwise, there might be a riot. <clears throat> yeah, if you play your lungs out like this, you might throw up too. If you're not used to it, for sure, dude. Here we go. Come on. By the way, if you guys love or hate this, you can thank Ace. <laughs> I forgot this game existed. <laughs> I'm having a pretty good time, though.
Fun fact. When I was growing up, I was in a school band, and a girl I had the biggest crush on was a trombone. <laughs> a trombonist. That was a long time ago, though. Oh, my God. Oh my god! <laughs> I guess I could just hold it down. Then it sounds even worse, weirdly. Good lord. Is she single? I don't know. Probably not, I would assume. I would assume probably not. Not many single girls that can blow like that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> back together. Christ, man. These songs are in this fucking game. Oh my god! There's so many! I don't think that's true. And play it. It's so hard. A little tremolo you can do. Also, the burger. Oh my god, that burger looks so fucking good. I just ate, and that looked so good. David took a knee during the national anthem. Oh, my God. 
This is a good summation of how 2022 is going. Not wrong. Nobody wants to hear this. Getting dizzy from the background stuff. The background stuff is moving in a way that's fucking with my head with the other stuff moving that way. Oh my god. Alright. Somebody pick up the chair David's on.
God damn it, does the song ever end? Oh, it never ends. The person on screen is just living their best tooting life. I will say that song didn't have like a bunch of weird shit happening in the background to make my brain bleed while I was trying it. Well, at least there's that. <laughs> I mean, we've tried, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, it's this song. getting close man we're still not even close <laughs> i am stressing out dude <laughs> I think also, I think I might have a little bit of a latency issue. I think the video is a little faster than the I can't tell though, it might just be because the game's janky. Like purposefully janky. Oh, 
Yikes. I've heard of the rusty trombone, but this is the new one. All right, I just want to double check. Uh, how do we do this? Settings. Okay, so what am I doing? Listen to the beat, click the green beat button. What the fuck is this tool supposed to even be doing? I'm gonna try 10. What's up, Gutang? How are you tonight?
Yeah, I've never fucking heard that before in my life. Holy shit. This is an original song? Gotcha. Tired? How is- did you go back to the convention? I mean, this one everybody's heard. This is probably one of the most favorite classical songs of all time. Definitely in the top five. Maybe even top three. might have actually been fine. I think I might throw the latency back down. I think I might have been fine, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. God save the king. A few more hours today. I saw your daughter commissioned a storm. Bangers and mash. Yeah. 90s animated X-Men Storm. Hell yeah. A lot of nerd stuff I don't do. Two panels today were cool. Poison Ivy sketch. Thank you. 
eyes are starting to hurt. <laughs> Man. What is a con if not a place to nerd out and spend? True. Hey, Homer. Oh, we're getting close to the end of this list. <laughs> My bonus. <laughs> How dare you take me, you motherfucker! <laughs> this difficulty. Oh my god, 165 BPM and it's a merengue. <laughs> oh fuck me. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. Be slower. I should really read the BPM, especially for songs that I know, just so I'm a little bit more prepared.
banger alert. All the party people, get up! Yeah, this is odd lane sign. Man, what a fucking track, though. <laughs> Arabe Tapito. Tapitio? What is this? Jesus Gonzalez Rubio. <laughs> a dance song. <laughs> Commonly performed by Maria. Oh, I think I know. actually know this song. The dance represents a courtship ritual. Absolutely slaps. Tapatio, yeah. Tapatio. Yes, I think I know this song, actually. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Can't tap fast enough for it. are going cross wire right now oh my god <laughs> it's so fast it moves so fast welcome to your collection play the main game earn toots then spend them on tromboner cards give me a sack of toots how many can i afford oh fuck yeah give me all these toots man all right we tootin boys Well, it's a card game. Fuck this game. Tell me, Dorsey. <laughs> this American jazz trombonist, conductor, composer, and band leader, smooth trombone playing, earned him the nickname the Sentimental Gentleman of Swing. As an American, he probably ate a lot of hot dogs. Wow! <laughs> Scathing review of American people, I guess. Jack T. Garden. Self-taught jazz trombonist, was a prominent performer in the pre-bebop era, performed along Louis Armstrong, specializing in New Orleans-style jazz. He could eat a dozen hot dogs. What's with these hot dogs? A dozen hot dogs in one sitting. Trombone. Without the trombone, none of us would be here. <laughs> this is a glue that binds us together, and the force that keeps us moving forwards. Often called the baboon of instruments, it is the alpha and the omega. 
tromboner cards. Collectible cards featuring famous tromboners, legendary composers, and all sorts of incredible things. Everybody loves these cards. Collect them all or suffer the tragic consequences. Polidoro de Caravaggio? What? 16th century Italian painter who painted... Oh, I see. I was like, why is Caravaggio in here? Painted what might have been the first artistic depiction of a woman playing the trombone in the panel. Apollo with the Muses from 1520 exerted below, uh, above. <laughs> okay. Music. Music is what we call the sounds made by trombones. <laughs> it's like hot dogs for your ears. <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. It sounds really good, except for when it sounds bad. Try to find music that you enjoy, then listen to it a lot. Babby. This ancient Egyptian deification of the Hamadrias baboon, whose name translates to the bull of the baboons, or chief of the baboons, was a deity of the underworld and is very relevant to this trombone game. Mozart Music Storf. <laughs> oh my god. Homer! Look, look at that reference. Mozart music storm. It's pretty good. <laughs> this Austrian mage holds the key to the ear wing of Tempo Keep. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my God. I think me and Homer are the only people that get it, but it's so fucking good. He will light you up with the sound of his sweet keys. Tchaikovsky. One of the most popular composers of the Romantic period, this Russian composer is well known for the Nutcracker Suite, Romeo and Juliet, and Callous Moore. He could eat eight hot dogs in one sitting. Mouthpiece. This is where it all begins. The part of the trombone your mouth goes. Don't put your mouth on the other parts. Without this, you've got nothing. <laughs> if you ever see a mouthpiece in real life, try blowing air into it. Preble Clef. Favorite clef of the primordial baboon toot seeker Tom. Jesus Christ. This clef represents light. <laughs> there can be no light without dark. <laughs> design your own. This tromboner card is intentionally left blank so you can design your own. Okay. Oh, Igor Stravinsky. Revolutionary composer best known for his thunderous ballet, The Rite of Spring. He could easily eat 35 hot dogs in one sitting, which may explain the power level evident in his music. Johann Sebastian Bach is widely considered one of the most influential composers of all time, partially due to his Baroque compositions, but mostly because he invented the hot dog. Oof. Uh, D.W. Gluck. Gluck was one of the first to introduce trombone to ballet and opera, beginning with Don Juan. This may have influ later influenced Mozart to use trombone in his compositions. He could eat 30 hot dogs in one setting. Okay. We're getting some doubles. Oh, we got a bunch of new ones. Baboon. These virile old world monkeys, often called the trombones of the animal kingdom, are the descendants of Bobby, the bull of baboons, who is relative of the primordial baboons that watch over the twin toot vessels. Oh my god, this is so fucking ridiculous. Hot dog. Yum! Are these beefy? Question mark. Treats? Sandwiches? Or something else entirely? No one knows for sure, but one thing is certain. They're every composer's favorite treat. Even if not eaten, simply holding these imbues one with power. Red eyes, black baboon. <laughs> god damn it. One of the most powerful tromboner cards, the red eyes black baboon, is a representation of the base clef as it relates to Bobby, the Egyptian deification of the sacred old world Hamadrius baboon. <laughs> base clef. Favorite clef of the primordial baboon, base master Ben. Ugh. Just seeing that name fills me with rage. This clef represents dark, but there can be no dark without light. Richard Strauss, this leading German composer of operas and symphonic poems, was arguably best known for the piece also uh, also Sprach Zarathustra. Thrustra. Oh my god. Whether or not he ate hot dogs is unknown. 
Okay, those are all doubles. It is not too late. Arthur Pryor, this prodigious Missouri-born trombonist who wrote some of the most well-known trombone pieces, played with Seuss's band. He was a prolific composer of band music. He could eat nine hot dogs in one sitting. Don Drummond, legendary Jamaican ska trombonist with a troubled history of mental illness and murder. Oh my god. Ultimately ending with his death in Bellevue Asylum in Kingston. Jesus. Blue Eyes White Baboon. There it is. There it is, boys. There it is. One of the most powerful tromboner cards. The Blue Eyes White Baboon is a representation of the treble cliff as it relates to Bobby. The Egyptian deification of the sacred old world Hamadrius Baboon. Yeah, this is just exactly. Gustav Holst, this English composer best known for his orchestral street, the Sweet the Planets, also played the trombone professionally, which means he is worthy of our respect. Being English, he did not eat hot dogs. Okay, a bunch of doubles here as well. Gustav Mahler, this Austrian-born composer, uh was one of the leading conductors of his time. Due to his Jewish ancestry, his compositions were banned throughout much of Europe during Nazi, their Nazi era, but they later achieved wide popularity. Mozart, prodigious Austrian composer of more than 600 pieces, one of the most well-known co classical composers of all time. He could eat up to 30 hot dogs in one sitting. Roswell Rudd, legendary tromboner and composer who worked in free and avant-garde jazz, taught ethnomusicology, performed with Malin and Mongolian musicians, and could eat 900 hot dogs per nanosecond. Oh, he'll, he died just uh, five years ago. Rest in peace, Roswell Red. <laughs> Melba Liston. Wait, first female that we've seen here? Oh, and she died in 1999. This Missouri-born jazz trombonist and composer was the first woman tr trombonist to play in big bands during the 1940s and later worked on arrangements for Motown Records. She could eat 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. Glenn Miller. Hey, two Americans. This trombonist and band leader, extremely popular in the 1940s, died while flying to France to entertain U.S. troops during World War II. His aircraft disappeared over the English Channel during bad weather. That's too bad. Sergei Prokofiev, this Russian Soviet pianist and composer, composed masterpieces across music, multiple musical genres. He infamously consumed hot dogs backwards, top to bottom, rather than side to side. Okay. By the way, this is going to be a while. In case you don't know, I opened up 18 packs. Trumpet. The coward's trombone. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, trumpet. <laughs> Jay Strauss II. This Austrian-born composer wrote over 500 pieces and credited with popularizing the waltz in the 19th century Vienna. Sadly, his baboon-like facial hair prevented him from eating hot dogs. Rachmaninoff. This leading Russian-born composer, pianist, and conductor was one of the most popular in the late Romantic period. When he ordered hot dogs, he'd request them, as long as my name, please, and everyone would laugh. <laughs> How stupid. Musogorsky. Musorsky, I guess? This Russian composer, well known for A Night on Bald Mountain and Picture and an Exhibition, strove to create uniquely Russian music and therefore refuse to eat hot dogs. <laughs> Fucking commies, man. Uh, these are all doubles. I think we're going to be getting into a lot of doubles. Oh, Trasom! It's Mozart spelled backwards. <laughs> Immortal guardian spirit tasked with preserving the order of the bass and treble clefs. As a guardian spirit, unable to eat hot dogs, but imbued with the power of at least 10. 1791 to infinity. Max Tundra. Maximalist electronic composer and producer of bespoke soups. 
In addition to Long Tail Limbo, he produced a trio of crit critically acclaimed, oh my god, albums, which you should purchase immediately. I'm guessing he is a composer for this game? Fucking Shadow Mozart. Exactly. <laughs> Dick Slide Hide. Oh, he only died three years ago. American session tromboner who recorded for a number of legendary musicians. Won Best Trombone Player Award in 1974, the most prestigious award ever given to a human in history. Slide. This is the funny part of the trombone that goes in and out. Note goes up, note goes down. Without this, you don't have a trombone. You just have a trumpet. Disgusting. <laughs> More things should have slides on them. Sackbutt. Did you know that early trombones from the Renaissance and Baroque eras are sometimes called sackbutts? Yep, it's true. Look it up. Now you know. Franz Schubert. This Austrian composer with an immense body of work is considered one of the best in the 19th century. Although he wasn't widely appreciated until after his death, his one-up, one-down color style allowed him to more easily consume hot dogs. Just remember, Ace, you chose this. You did this! <laughs> okay, those are all doubles. Oh my god, we're missing so many still! Fuck! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Still missing 10 cards! Wait. We need to collect some turds. Pronto. I just realized. Oh yeah, you guys can kind of see it. Uh, there's like no good place for my cam in this game. But what we're doing is we're... Turning our doubles into turds. And with these turds, I'm hoping we can build what we are missing. survivors. I feel like I've already tried something similar to that idea. I mean, who doesn't love hentai? I mean, I guess I wouldn't say I love hentai. Who doesn't enjoy a little bit of hentai is more appropriate level. Is it to build a card again? I'm wondering if I should just try to get more toots, open up a few more packs, and then build. I, don't know, I guess it doesn't matter. You think I should have enough? I think they're all different number, though. Well, let's, let's see how much we got. This is so fucking childish. J.J. <laughs> Johnson. Indianapolis-born J.J. Johnson was one of the most influential trombone, jazz trombonists of all time, credited with demonstrating that the trombone could be played in a fast bebop style. He could eat ten hot dogs in this. <laughs> Yeah, Beethoven. Makes sense. 
This influential composer and pianist, best known for his symphony number no. 5, lost his hearing late in life, possibly as a side effect of eating 50 hot dogs in one sitting. <laughs> Brass. The most powerful element, brass, is used to create trombones and nothing else. To this day, scientists have no idea where brass comes from. True. John Philip Sousa. The American March King, Sousa was argu arguably the greatest of the March composers and had massive influence on the world of brass instruments. He only ate hot dogs in private. Rims Rimsky Korsakov. This Russian composer, who infamously wielded two last names in order to double his power level, was a master of orchestration and could eat a whole lot of hot dogs, although the exact number is unknown. This was all just a big ruse to get me to play Magic the Gathering again. Glissando. A glissando is a slide from one tone to another. The trombone is one of the few instruments capable of performing a true smooth glissando. Bella Bartok. Considered one of the most important composers of the 20th century and among Hungary's greatest composers, he also helped create ethnomusicology through his study of folk music. He studied but never ate hot dogs. Uh, I'm not planning on it. No. Not currently. Al Gray. This American jazz trombonist who played with Count Basie was known uh, for his plunger mute technique, literally wrote a book on plunger techniques. As an American, he probably ate a ton of hot dogs. Loud the bussy, the boozy. Dog. Oh, you see how some of the the letters? Yeah, anyway. This French composer, sometimes considered the first impressionist composer, rebelled against classical forms of composition and strove to create new modes, sometimes based off his own poetry. Bill Watrous, popular jazz trombonist of the modern era, studied with jazz pianist Herbie Nichols while serving in the U.S. Navy, and was well known among trombonists for his technical skill and pleasant sound. All right. So that's good. missing what's missing oh I need another s okay I see we're going back in boys I'm hoping I can ask this now that I've played a little bit more but I'm also not counting on it. <laughs>
right, that should do it. Get all those toots. Okay. Oh shit, did I unlock the jump scare? <laughs> Remember the funny jump scare thing? I mean, I don't know what, where it is. Let's go into free improv and see. Is there anything? Open this. I need to get keys. The fuck does that mean? <clears throat> Wait, can I interact with that? Oh shit, yeah. Greetings, noble tromboner. Thank you for summoning me. My name is. Well, maybe some things are best kept secret for now. I assume you summoned me here on purpose and weren't just mindlessly clicking the chaos candle? Well, what do you say, noble tromboner? Greetings. Only an inquisitive soul would find me here. Do you seek to become the trombone champion? Yes. Buddy, do you even really know what the trombone champ is? Nope. Well, you will in time. Yes, the baboons will show you the way. I can help you become the trombone champ, but I need magic to do so, and my magic requires sacrificing tromboner cards. Why does my magic require you to sacrifice tromboner cards, you ask? It's best not to ask questions like this. Just go with the flow. Will you help me? Yes. I currently require one slide, one brass, and one big owl. Can you give me these cards? I can. You sure? Yep. I shall perform my magics immediately. Why so much cookie clicker? I've been training for this moment. It's so much harder on a mouse. You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing, the silver trombone. Hell yeah. Again. I still have more magic, and that magic will draw cards. Do it up. that I like every time I open those chests I'm gonna have to do this. Okay. Red trombone. Okay. <laughs> 
I spent so long with the candle, I forgot his name. Made me tamper with it. Sorry, I thought that was gonna be the same shit, but it's actually new. I do remember a legendary trombone. Whatever. Oh, I need to buy a slide. This game is insane. I think I'm gonna have to make sure I re remember this game in the Game of the Year talks. Just for the sheer insanity. Blue trombone. Want to see something? They unlocked here. They are. on the base clef? The base clef is evil. Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Oh, shit. We summoned Ben. I mean, we gotta try it with the treble now, right? Nothing. Interesting. Okay. Whoops. Actually, yeah. Why not? That'll give me some more. Points. Okay. We can do this. considering downloading an auto clicker. Just for this. Trembling with the new trombone. Okay, I need a glisson. Auto clickers are useful. This one doesn't give me a... Virus of some sort. Shit. I should've done all the duplicates. Whatever. Oh, I didn't build the glissando. God damn it. All I did was get the turds.
Feels good, man. these right now. Polygon trombone. We have to be close to the end, right? What is there? One more? There's one more. Of those, anyway. I feel like our time together is reaching an end. I have one final request. You're not gonna like it. I need every single... One of every single card, all 50. He's right. I didn't like that. I didn't like that he asked that. Nothing we can do here, hey? That means we gotta play the game. Ew. Try this one out again. I kinda wanna see if I can find the... the jump scare. Fucked up! Fuck. adjust anything since the last time you saw me adjust.
our sad attempt at composing a merengue song. I just noticed that. <laughs> Man, I kind of really like this track, though. <laughs> I thought this track was really good. I just need money, man. I need to buy cards. <laughs> oh my god, this is how they get me back into magic. To be clear, just to be clear about what I did not <laughs> know about the card game aspect. Yeah, me neither. see more of the game you know <laughs> you know what i mean where it's like i don't want to grind out cards but i want to see what comes up after <laughs> Thank you. 
Paid for the season pass, you're not wrong. I just gotta get more toots, dude. I need toots. Also, this is hurting, this is starting to hurt my eyes a little bit. Feels like I'm never filling up what I'm missing. Am I missing anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How much is it again? All right. So I need twenty-seven hundred to be able to just make everything. Couple of songs away, I guess. Then. We're gonna be bees early this time. I don't remember this this song. 
Is this at least enjoyable to watch? I hope it's enjoyable. I'm assuming most people are probably where I am, where we want to see more of the weird meta game. First thing I want in this is the fucking I want the stupid basement theme from Resident Evil in here. Why not? You know? Now that David's gone, we can have some fun. Try turning down the DPI on my mouse. That's too low. God damn it, David's here! <laughs> you guys bring your own mouse mouse pad to work? No, I do not. I don't do like any gaming or anything at work, or anything like mouse intensive at work, really. So there's no point. good now because I think that might have covered a card or two as well in that last part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It didn't. Wait, what? How am I missing? Oh no, there 
was nine missing before. Yeah, it did. We're good, we're good. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, this is the one. Progression incoming? I think. You've been using a vertical mouse at home. Oh, okay. I see. How do you like using a vertical mouse? Wait, what? Oh, god damn it. I thought I had enough. All right. We're 800 short. We're 500 short of turds. God damn it, I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, I can see it being okay for like... Oh no. I wasn't clicked in the game. I don't really want to redo this song, actually. I feel like we've heard that a million times now. Okay, we'll try this again. Dating, inviting a coworker from a previous job, like a friend of yours. I don't know. I like. I get the like. It'd be kind of fun to see this person again, but also. <laughs> If you have to debate it, it might not be a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. 
you could do. Now that COVID is over, just meet up with David and have a drink. <laughs> Fucking same. <clears throat> That's not gonna be enough turds. Oh wait, we got one more. Exactly. It's not you, it's me. Alright, time to summon the devil. say now Is that it yes that's all the magic i can perform you were hoping for more sorry that's it for me studio should be ready to become the trombone champ and learn my name now we're on my side. here's a hint for you power up with glizzies See if it does anything with this trombone. <laughs> Baboon facts. 
There are six species of baboons. Despite appearing trombone chant, mandrels are not technically baboons. Baboons have been around for two million years. Baboons are omnivorous, which means they can eat anything. They could probably eat hot dogs, although we'd not recommend. Try to feed a baboon hot dogs. Baboons can live up to 30 years in the wild and up to around 45 in captivity. There's a species of baboon called the kind of baboon, which is funny because it's definitely a baboon. A group of baboons is called a troop. Oh yeah, Max Tundra, Long Tail Limbo. The nice little credit screen. Right. I'm gonna open up David's link here. I have to earn keys now, apparently. That's not what I meant to do. Apparently, if I go in here, click Tambo Baboon. Fuck, how do I earn this key? Hold on, earn the blue key. Dimly lit area, trap door, four S tiles, unlock. I did that. You will then gain access to the baboon from here. You can unlock the ability to pay toots. This particular portion, you need 10,000 toots. Ten thousand. Okay, we're not doing that on stream. Maybe I'll do that after that. The next time you guys see this game, we'll see the true ending. But I'm not gonna just sit here and play. Like, how many did we get per thing? Like three hundred and some. So we need like at least four to ensure we make 1,000, then times 10. So I need to play like 40 songs, a little bit less. Yeah, no, I'll do that off air. And then next time you guys see this game, uh, we'll just do that part. The next day. So off air, I collected I mean, more than 10,000, because I had to collect- I collected about 15, 16,000 toots. Oh, Necro. Thanks for the resub, I appreciate it. Um, so I collected about 16,000, because I had to spend a bunch to get a bunch of turds. Because we're gonna need turds as well. Uh, we need 10,000, 3,000. I have more because we also need to buy the base clef, so let's go ahead and do that now. So apparently I should be able to spend this stuff. Do I just keep clicking on this? Oh my god! Okay, I'm guessing that's the funny jump scare. <laughs> Ark. Art thou the one hath been a knocking on my little hatch? Yes. Ah, thou art truthful. That is goodeth. Is a knocking not what hatches are for after all? I seeketh the trombone champ. Is it thine wish to become the champ? Yes. Sure. Oh ho, that's good news. Allow with me to introduce me selfeth. I am the primordial baboon Toot Seeker Tom. 
Allow me to show you something. Feast thine eyes upon the toot vessel. What is this? What is it for? How does this affect my life personally? These are questions for which I have long since forgotten the answers. My bad. But I do recall if the toot vessel requireth toots. Feed it toots and the cleft shall awaken. That's why it's called the toot vessel, you see. It's literally a vessel for toots. Anyway, fill the vessel with toots so that the treble cleft may awaken. Okay. The toot vessel awakens. That was easy. Oh my god. Where's my clicker? Hold on. This is the setup. Hell. I want the actual program. Played the video game a lot and locked a thing. Character Polygon. Hey, that's me. Ah, so a chest of treasure poppeth out. Fascinating. However, I feel there's more hidden. Okay, so yes, apparently we needed 10,000. I'm guessing for filling this thing up four times, probably. Sound set muted. Okay. <clears throat> There's more to be done. Set 8 bit. Okay. This could be interesting actually to play with. All of the rings are lit. The toot vessel is fully charged. Just one final awakening. Okay. Time to awaken the treble clef. The toot vessel awakens. The mysterious blue key. All right, good. We needed this. I don't know for what yet, but incredible. The toot vessel is silent. It awakens no more. Is that it? Is there truly nothing left to do? Okay. So now... Do this. Oh my god. Hey, hello there. You have done well to discover me, lad. My name is Bassmaster Bit. If you wish it, I will now share the full truth of Trombone Champ. Yes. An answer worthy of Trombone Champ. 
of the trombone champ. Well, let's get started. In the ancient days, the first lords created music. At that time, things were in harmony. But a natural discordance began to arise within the music. There were those who sought to destroy the harmony. For each positive note, there was a negative. Bass begat treble. Mozart begat trazome. <laughs> Does the story bore you? Would you like me to stop? No. Good, because there's a lot more of this. I'm going to go on for a while. Anyways, the forces of order split music into two, the treble and the bass. And thus think, have things stood for ages, but this is not the true way. Bobby, the first true lord, created artifacts which would allow one to control the nature of music. With these artifacts and using the proper technique, one could change the very nature of music itself. But of course, there were those who would abuse this power and so it had to be keep, kept secret. And of course, the seal of the order is held fast by that miserable doppelganger, Trazone. Shall I not stop? Would you not like me to stop continuing or to not stop? Would you not like me to not stop? Oh my God, there's too many negatives. Shall I not stop? Should Bassmaster Ben not stop? in stopping the story. Yes, you should not stop. Wait, I'm confused. Do you want me to start from the beginning or not? Did Bassmaster Ben start from the beginning? Or not? Not. No. Great. Anyways, to seal away this power, Bobby created two vessels. The Toot Vessel and the Turd Vessel. Each vessel was guarded by one of Bobby's children. Most likely, you have already met one. Toot Master Tom guards the Toot Vessel, which symbolizes treble and the power it contains. And I, Bass Master Ben, guard the Turd Vessel, which symbolizes bass and the power it contains. Only a true champion who fully awakens both vessels may restore music to what it once was, a free power without order. This champion is known as the Trombone Champ, for their weapon shall be the trombone, Bobby's favorite instrument. I'll repeat that for dramatic effect. The Trombone Champ. And so, this Trombone Champ would need to defeat the forces of order, which requires what the vessels grant. Additionally, this champ would need to be need to fully ally themselves with Bobby and increase their power. The forces of order have a power level of 10. We can assume that Trombone Champ would require the same, if not more. There are rumors of a source of power which runs through this land. Many have harnessed this power. Do you not want me to not repeat this full tale again, or shall I not simply continue? Did Basemaster Ben not start from the beginning? Or not? Yes. Oh really? In that case. I trust the story made perfect sense to you. I give you all I give you the abridged version after all. Alas, I've taught you everything you need to know, and now you continue your quest to become the trombone champ. Fill the vessel with turds so that the base cleft may awaken. <laughs> so fucking childish. <laughs> and it takes so much longer to fill. It takes so much longer to fill, too. The turd vessel awakens. Sound set in the club. Well done, lad, but the turd vessel cries out for even more turds. That's right, you're going to be doing this for a while. Ha ha ha. It takes so long. Turd vessel awakens. Sounds that gassy. Ugh. A 
other two servants of Bobby. Then you will take this fight directly to that miserable doppelganger and take your place as a champion. <laughs> but not quite yet, this vessel still has some magic left within it. Ben's name from Dr. Atheist to Base Master Ben. Can I do that myself? I think he has to, right? We just got like an ape character, <laughs> a mandrill specifically. Well done, lad. The end approaches. This vessel still cries out for turds. All right. Last one. Third vessel. Key. I'm not really sure where we even use these keys. Amazing, all this silent. Go forth, fulfill thy destiny, and leave me alone to rest. Yes, you are ready. But thou must set thy heart to thou must set thy heart to fully align with Bobby. That's probably an option, right? Does he, Bobby have a beat? Immutable. I guess that makes some sort of sense. You know what? There was the page here that just tells you how to unlock it. I just want to know where to use the keys. Okay, I have to find the allegiance options. Let me just look up. Uh, 
navigate to allegiance, change your baboon quantity to inferno, and preference to... Oh, I did it. Okay. Select that Krasome card from your collection. Oh, shit. I don't think I can make it. Oh. Wait, where is it? Do I need to do... Do I need to make it? I'm guessing I do. Bam, tap it to reach a segment that requires the use of two keys. I need to make it. All right, we need to do... I can't remember the last time I played this song with the sound on, though. of the, the lyric. You know what the th shitty thing is, is I can't read them because I'm doing the thing. Oh crap, I didn't mean to hit retry. I got in the habit of hitting retry and just doing this one over and over again because it got me the, uh, it got me like 500 and some each time. Turds. I'm short. God damn it. Wait. Aha. Dare challenge me, prepare thyself, tromboner. Okay, I just want to make sure, do I need anything? Change your character to servant of Bobby. And trombone color to Chan. Okay, that's fine. Okay. This is going to be ridiculous, isn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> I should have assumed it would be this. Oh, my God. 
Trazom was <laughs> dealt a fearsome blow, but was not destroyed. Thou must have a power level of at least 10. There is this an ancient source of power used by tromboners. <gasps> the hot dogs. I need a hot dog, don't I? How the fuck do I get a hot dog? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to... Probably... Where are they? God damn it, I'm gonna have to build a hot dog. Even if not eating, simply holding these imbues one with power. Son of a bitch, okay. Let's try in the club sound. This is how we defeat Griffith. Nightmare is over. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, you know how it said at least a power level of 10 or something? Do you think I actually need to collect 10 hot dogs? I bet I need 10 hot dogs. Don't I? Right, at least. At least 10 hot dogs. Uh, yeah, for the most part. It depends what they're made of, actually. They're definitely not all equal. are more powerful than others. <laughs> oh, I still think that's so fucking funny. Man, I wish I had known that I would need these. I should have got more turds. I should have got more turds last night. Well, at least we can try the different sound effects that we have left, right?
meters can't contain it. All right. I'm hoping that's enough. If we just naturally got some hot dogs in here, some doubles, that would be great, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. No such luck. to buy the box for that? Yeah, no doubt, right? <clears throat> I kind of want to futz around with my audio a bit more, too. Like, I don't know if doing anything with this is better or worse or what. Anyways, let me keep doing this. I can worry about that. Right now, we need to be Trizome. I like that there's an achievement for turning Mozart. <laughs> I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't have done that. Because maybe we need a Mozart card at some point. Well, we'll find out. Due time. I'm doing the right thing. Also, I just assumed the cryptic way that it said that, like, I need at least a power level of whatever, and this imbues one with power by holding it. I just made kind of an assumption. So I'm hoping it works out for me. Tighten up. What's up, Extendo? How have you been? Just enough. Holy shit. Alright. Let's do this. Vibing and thriving? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. You follow a Twitch streamer you've never heard of? God, the too too much drum. Oh, 
did it <laughs> you played the game a whole lot of became the trombone champ of legend and so the trombone champ forged an alliance with the baboons with ceaseless toots aided by turds and reeking of hot dogs the very fabric of music was shattered Trezom was overcome by the chaos, and the two clefts merged into something new, something never before seen. The ancient rules of music Forged over many thousands of years have been upended, and a new era begins. An uncertain era. The era of the trombone champ. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> game holy shit all right there put it down a decent amount here that was extremely loud i don't know it seemed like it was loud for the stream as well on the obs thing so All right, well, I guess that's Trombone Champ. All right. There you go. 